is Dave, and this is Dave's house. Dave isn't too happy with his house that he built, so we're going to teach him some tips he can use to improve his build, and you can too. Yeah, I'm not too good building. Me and Gary can look better. Dave's interior is interesting, and he has a second room, a book room, and inside his chest there's some interesting things. And his bedroom's a little bit cramped. Shape is super important when it comes to building. And you see, I've built two shapes, a boring square and a little bit more of an interesting shape. Now, even if you put the same amount of detail on each, I think the right one still looks a little bit more interesting and a little bit more appealing to people. I'm just going to add some small shapes onto Dave's house to make it a little bit bigger and a little bit more interesting. By adding these shapes can make the house feel a lot different. Detailing is really important when it comes to walls. You see this bland wooden wall could have become so much better with a bit of framework. But even that could be improved on. You see if you push the wall back you can add some depth. Now add some staircases for the corners and an accent block plus a window. It just really livens up the build and plus you get a nice flower pot. I'm just going to add some framework to Dave's house. It's really hard to balance a build because you don't want the outside to be too big, but you don't want the inside to be too small either. Here you can see I'm picking a nice accent block for the build, and I chose polished andesite because I think it goes really well with spruce wood. Now try and pick a nice accent block that goes with your build too. Adding a few windows can add depth and light to your build, but always try to use glass panes as they look a little bit better. But you can also add a windowsill and a flower. A good tip for making roofs is never make your roofs too low, as you want plenty of room for you to just move about. You see? And there are also different types of roofs. You can have roofs that come to a peak. You can have A-frame roofs, and there's also different ways of detailing roofs. There's a skylight, which is more for modern buildings, and even a dormer, which is very nice for other builds. I think an A-frame roof would look nice on this house, but try to use a roof that would fit your theme of your build. Always overhang your roof so that you can add upside down stairs to add depth. Now you definitely don't need to add the same roof all over the build, you can mix and match. You see I've added an A-frame and a flat roof because I think it adds a little bit of variety. And if you look all around the build, I've tried to blend the walls into the roof. To detail the roof, I've decided to add a little dormer, which means I can add an upstairs window too. Another way of detailing your roofs is using a chimney. I think a nice cobbled path would look nice, but obviously you don't want an old path for like a modern mansion, so try to fit the path to the theme of the build. Having a block palette can really determine your theme. You see, here's some examples of block palettes and their themes. And here is your finished house, what do you think? Oh my god, this is great. Galias, oh sorry. Galias, look at you in your little mansion, it's so good. Galias says thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it makes me good and no, all, but you want to see the inside eye, bro? Um, uh, okay. Okay, let's just see. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. This is my bookshelf, and over here is my hamsters. It's good, huh? Yeah. Oh dear.